What's up guys, in this video I want to talk about my favorite yoga instructors, my top five favorite yoga instructors on YouTube. I have been doing some yoga lately and I am a an ex-yoga buff. Um, used to do, when I was like, I don't know, a couple years ago I did yoga every day, like six days a week for an hour and 15 minutes and I was super obsessed with it. I was drinking the yoga Kool-Aid, I was like your typical... I don't know if I was a yoga bro, but like I was in that world. I was ready to do it. I wanted to be a yoga instructor. I was going to go do a teacher training in Goa. Like I was all about the yoga a couple of years ago. Since then, kind of haven't really been doing it because I haven't been able to find many good classes. And in my opinion, the classes that I did at the gym that I used to go to, the Equinox in West LA, I have yet to find anything that compares to that at all in terms of like intensity and quality of teachers and also like just the attitude of the class, which is just like, we're going to like, you're, this is a workout, you know what I mean? This is not like stretching and like praying to the fucking God of trees and shit. Like this is like, this is, you're going to, you're going to sweat and you're going to sweat way harder than you would if you were going to go do like your little workout with weights. So this yoga stuff is the real deal. These classes specifically that I'm going to show you, cause I'm going to talk about my, my favorite yoga instructors. And then I'm going to show you one of the specific classes that I have actually taken from them and that I like, I guess. So the first class, or sorry, the first teacher that I want to give a shout out to is actually one of the teachers that I used to do classes with at the Equinox in West LA. Her name is Maeve McCaffrey. <clears throat> she is hands down, I don't want to say, she's, she's basically the best yoga teacher that I've ever done a class with. Like pretty much she's she's basically the best right <clears throat> if i had to pick one person to do and I, I could only pick one yoga teacher to do classes with for the rest of my life i would pick Maeve. yeah I, I feel comfortable saying that the only reason i'm kind of hesitating is because there were a lot of other really good teachers at the equinox in west la and i i enjoyed the variety of you know having different teachers all doing kind of the same style or the same type of class but with their own little personal flair. However, if I had to pick one, I would pick Maeve for the following reasons. Number one, her uh, level of instruction is just right. So like when, when you do yoga, it's all about poses, right? You're supposed to pose in different ways, put your arm here, put your leg there, flex this muscle, flex that muscle. And there's a lot of things that you don't really think to focus on as you're doing it. Um, and the good thing about doing a class with Maeve is that she'll tell you specifically what to focus on so that you actually get a lot out of the practice. One of the problems that I've noticed with other yoga teachers, specifically other yoga teachers on YouTube, is they'll tell you, put your leg here, put your arm here. They'll instruct you to go through the pose, but they won't give you that extra little information that you need to really get the most out of it. Certain poses, like I'm just thinking for any of you who know about yoga, right? Well, whatever, let's say you're supposed to be in a certain pose and um, naturally your body will like move your sh left shoulder forward. And you won't even really think about it until the teacher actually tells you, make sure to pull your left shoulder back when you're doing this, right? By engaging this muscle or whatever. And over time, the more yoga that you do, the more of these things you just remember on your own. So that when you go through the poses, you know, okay, like I'm in side angle pose, for example, and I know I need to keep my, my shoulder away from my ear. Right. For example, random example, that might not even be right. You know what I mean? But that's, that's the idea. And Maeve is very good at doing, giving those instructions. Uh, number two is that, um, I don't really know how to put this, but like, and sorry, Maeve, if you watch this, I don't want to sound too, too weird, but, uh, she's, she's got this kind of star quality, right? One thing I will say about Maeve from her classes that I've seen on YouTube is that the production quality is very bad. No offense. Like, you're amazing. She's amazing. Her production quality does not, do her justice, right? Um, the video is grainy. The sound is bad. Like it's just not. It's just not good. You know what I mean. However, if you see her in person, she like I don't even know how to say it. She just like commands the attention of the room. It's it's pretty hard. It's kind of there's like kind of this like cultish attitude of like yoga instructors as well. I'm sure you guys know about that, the whole like guru thing, Bikram and all that. I'm not saying she's like manipulating people and like telling them to join her cult or anything, not at all. Um, but she just has that kind of like ugh, star quality. I don't really know how to say it. I guess it's kind of just if you're in person. I don't know. I think if she had like better um, 
production quality from her videos. If she if if Maeve had better production quality on her videos, she would blow up on YouTube. Promise, hundred percent. She she has she has the she's got the potential. Anyway, do me a favor. Go subscribe to her. Follow her. Do her classes if you're interested in yoga. I personally recommend the ones that are an hour and 15 minutes just because that is my that is what I was used to doing with her at Equinox. That's what I grew up doing, I guess you could say, and that's just what I'm spoiled from doing. Also, if you're fit already and you're looking for a good workout, those are generally that that's generally how long a class needs to be for it to be a good workout for you assuming you're not like flexible enough and have the crazy core strength to do all the like crazy handstands and shit that you can potentially do in yoga so shout out to Maeve McCaffrey go follow her go subscribe to her channel Maeve if you're watching this you're awesome but like up the production quality of your videos just like just a little bit you got the potential do it okay number two the second person that I want to give a shout out to is this person named Maris Aylward. Uh, I've done a bunch of classes of Maris's and I really like them. Um, the one I've, I've done a couple 75 minute classes of hers. They're good, but I'm, I don't want to say they're not, I don't know. It's, it's like, they're good. They're, they're not bad, right? I, I would happily do them. However, there's one 60 minute class of hers that I really like that I will show a little bit of a clip of right now. Um, but she's super awesome. I don't know if she's Indian or Filipino or something, but like she's got a very soothing voice. The classes that I've done of hers have been intermediate. So I don't know. I don't want to say she's not athletic, but like if you, if you look at like something like, talking about Maeve too much but like if you look at Maeve's body she's clearly an athlete you know what I mean and like the other yoga instructors that I've seen might not have that well-rounded athletic background um, however her classes are very good highly recommend her classes she's got a ton of them as well she's got 60,000 subscribers right now oops didn't want to click on that um, and she's got a ton of stuff right so a ton of like you know 30 minute classes 60 minute classes as far as I work yeah she's still uploading regularly it does about one a week give or take so she's also cool go subscribe to her or just dig through her classes find one that you like I will link to one that I think is very good okay so the next yoga instructor that I want to recommend is a girl named Brett Larkin now I to be fair, have only done one of her classes. It's a 75 minute heart opening class that is extremely challenging. Now, for those of you who don't know, like you've never done yoga, you don't like, what is heart opening? Like, she's gonna make me like cry about my, you know, childhood? No. Uh, heart opening just refers to like expanding the chest and stretching, I guess, the chest and the shoulders and strengthening the back. Um, so this class is 75 minute heart opener. It's, I wanna say it's an advanced class but it is good enough that I have done it several times and I really like it. And it's, it's good enough that I've, I've done it and I like wanted to do it again because it's so good. I am I'm like tight in my shoulders and in my lats. And when I do this class, I notice a, a big difference. I need to do it more to be fair, but like there's only so many hours in the day to work out. So like, what can you do? However, if you are looking for another good instructor, go check her out. One of the problems with, with her channel is that most of her videos are like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So, I mean, you know, if I'm, if I'm trying to work out, I want like an hour class or something to, to, so I sweat, you know what I mean? I don't want to do like, what am I going to have 12 minutes? Like, what am I going to do 12 minutes? You know what I mean? I'm trying to, I'm trying to work out. Um, but that one class is good. So that gets my stamp of approval. Okay. So the next yoga instructor that I want to talk about on YouTube is this guy named Aaron Bennett. Now this guy does not actually upload anymore and I've only done one of his classes as well. However, this is, I would say, I don't want to say it's the best class that I've done on YouTube because all of the classes kind of have different purposes, but this class does kind of a little bit of everything. So it's a 75 minute power yoga flow. And the things that I like about this class is you have a lot of like shoulder mobility as well. You have a lot of core work and um, it's taught by a man. So like doing yoga classes that are taught by women are great. Don't get me wrong. Like who doesn't enjoy that? Uh, but, and to be fair, this is not like, all right, maybe that's not safe to say, but like,
also this is like this is a very good class for um to get like a sweat going right like you work out all the time you do bodybuilding you think you're like a tough guy like try and do one of these 75 minute yoga classes and and come talk to me afterwards obviously lifting weights and stuff like that that's a different type of a workout but there's once once you once you realize that um, the once you realize the difficulty of holding a certain pose with no added resistance, once you experience that like humbling effect, it will kind of open your eyes to why yoga could potentially be a good way to spend your time exercising. Okay, the final instructor slash channel that I want to talk about is a channel called Yoga with Down Dog. Um, so this channel is a little bit more, I guess, impersonal in that the production quality is very high don't get me wrong like amazing production quality um you know they've got this girl who's like great at doing yoga she does everything perfectly and the video is really good the audio is really clear everything is great but it just it doesn't have that personal touch that brett larkin has for example or that mave has or um it's just a little bit more sterile however they have a ton of different types of classes and they're all labeled very clearly right like just scrolling through a couple of these they're labeled restorative intermediate 40 minutes um, restorative intermediate 20 minutes you know so you get the idea um, and this is very good for like i guess i guess this is good for intermediate yoga people um, or even beginners really to be honest with you they have a ton of beginner routines here they have some advanced routines as well they just really kind of have something for everybody so the first time that i actually found them funny story i guess is that i um i was looking for a 75 minute class because i'm like a 75 minute class snob and i was looking for a 75 minute class and i found this one class that was labeled sun salutation b intermediate 75 minutes so i'm like okay that's just referring to you know i'm sure it's a full yoga practice it's not just the sun salutation b but it was actually just 75 minutes of sun salutation B, which when you get a little bit more familiar with yoga is like a specific sequence that is designed as far as I know to like build heat in the body. Um, and it's just like this fairly like physical sequence of yoga where it's kind of challenging, I guess. Anyway, I did it for 10 minutes and I was like, this is just the sun salutation over and over. And I realized that it was like just on a loop of sun salutation B. And I was like, damn, am I really going to do this for 75 minutes? Because originally what I wanted to do was a full practice, right, from beginning to end. But I thought to myself, oh, why don't I try this and see, you know, what it's like? I'm sure at least my I'll get better at sun salutation B. So long story short, I actually did, I did about an hour of it. I didn't do the full 75 minutes. I did about an hour. And let me tell you, that was a very good workout, right? Like, I don't even really know how to explain it, but it was it was a good workout, number one. And number two, when you do because what's what's the problem with yoga is that like you build you do build flexibility, but because you're only holding each pose for a couple seconds, maybe 30 seconds you hold a pose, maybe a minute occasionally, you build flexibility, I guess evenly, but not really uh, quickly. Um, so the benefit of being able to do one of these classes is that you can pick, I'm, I'm not sure, I haven't really taken too close of a look at like all of your classes, but let's say you want to do 30 minutes of heart opening, right? Some like heart opening sequence. You can actually do 30 minutes of the same eight or nine poses, which is not a lot in yoga on this channel. And that's a long time to be doing only a couple of poses. So anyway, bottom line, they have something for everybody. Highly recommend them. The girl in there is kind of hot also. And she just does everything perfectly. And you're like, damn, like, how does she do that? Can't really do that. Anyway, um, those are my favorite yoga instructors on YouTube. Highly recommend that you go check them out. Do me a favor. Go to Maeve's channel. Subscribe to her channel. Show her some love. Like her videos. Subscribe to her. Comment on her stuff. Encourage her to be on YouTube more. I really think she has what it takes. Um, just like increase that production quality. Cool. But tell me, do you like any specific yoga teachers in general or any other yoga classes? Have I missed anything? Let me know. Leave me a comment. Peace.